What's going on? I got my camera bag on, talking into a big vlog camera. I'm like a real life vlogger today, which is not typical for me because typically I'm a fisherman who Hunter just tries to grab as much content from as she possibly can in a day because I don't want to slow down. But today we got a pretty cool, you know, kind of a video that I'm going to try to do. I found the fishing reel that I started bass fishing with. You know, obviously I had like a little uh, spin cast, like the closed face one, you just press the button and throw it and you can't even backlash or whatever. But this is the first bait caster that I ever fished with. I actually found it in my dad's shed. My dad bass fished a very little bit, not a ton. But I found a bait caster in his shed and that's where I fell in love with bait casters. And it's actually one I'm about to show y'all right now. So let's go put the chesty on. I'm gonna fish with it a little bit today. Haven't fished with this reel in probably I don't know, 14 years or something. It's an antique fishing reel, so let's go. I got it rigged up. I've got line on it, 20 pound sunline uh, sniper actually. And we're gonna flip a little uh, worm around, probably a quiver. We'll just see if we can get some bites on it. Catch a fish for old time's sake a little bit today. So let's go get started. There she is right there. Some of y'all more old school guys that's been fishing for a long time. Y'all probably recognize this. This is the Shimano Bantam. Get ratio on this is probably a one to one. I have no idea. It's pretty poor. Got a little eighth ounce, eighth ounce weight right here with a four alt gamakatsu worm hook. And I'm gonna flip around this little quiver today a little bit. We'll just see if we can get a bite or two on it. I'd really like to catch a fish on this reel. On this reel, it's been a long time since I even cast this thing. So, go flip a little worm around, see if we can catch one on my old school reel. The button to actually cast it is on the side right there. And then you just gotta engage and it pops back out. So pretty interesting that that's the reel that I started fishing with. First cast on this thing in a while. This is one of my first rods I built too. This is probably one of the first or second rods that I built. A Couple of things on this rod that I don't do anymore, like leaving this very long right here. I left this so far out in front of it and then my finger kind of gets in the way of it. And then right here, I got this little metal trim piece. I don't do any of that anymore, but everything else up towards the top end, real seat and everything is good on it. There's a couple of cosmetic things that I don't do to my rods anymore that, you know, kind of learning experience. I just kind of jumped into rod building, you know, and hadn't done it a whole lot. And I kind of learned as I go. So let's go catch a bass. I got to tell you, this thing feels extremely foreign in my hand. But there was a time when it didn't. take a little getting used to I got it under there second try one thing the anti-reverse on these old reels will slip a 16th or 8th of a turn so it's very crucial to have the anti reverse like we have now makes a big difference Gear ratio certainly leaves a little bit to be desired. But this is an old reel. Can't judge it based off of a new reel. Like I got a Metanium in there that it's one of my favorite reels. And I just, you know, you can't even fairly compare the two. way out of position look at that ooh ooh look at this check that out <laughs> oh that's cool that is cool some of y'all that some of y'all that are watching this might actually still fish for that stuff and I'm not trying to hate on it at all I'm just doing a little bit of a comparison to what I normally fish with and uh I'm actually surprised at how good the stuff was back then. You know, it's not terrible like you might think it would be. You talk about something that, like the fishing reels haven't been around with technology for very long. This is like in the infancy of kind of higher performance fishing reels. So 
It's kind of impressive how it's holding up a little. Oh, pinch me. Hey, man. Yeah, that happened in a long time, but as soon as it happened, I feel like I had that happen whenever I was younger. Pinch me right there in that little thing, a hole like that. Got me. Oh, I pinched myself really in that time. Ow. That hurt me. Gotta get back used to that, I guess. Little one. So I guess I wasn't really questioning it, but maybe the title will be something like Can an antique bait caster still catch a bass? Obviously, yes. That was obviously yes before we came out here. But might make a good title. Don't know. Glad we're catching a bass or two, though. It's pretty cool to catch on this reel. That's it's been a while, been a long time, buddy. Oh. <laughs> I was grinding on him. I said the hook, I rid up all the slack, and I just could not catch up with him. Oh, that's funny. That is pretty funny. So if y'all seen that, I was reeling as bad as fast as I could. I could have turned it up a little notch, but that was about all I had in this old reel, and I could not catch up to him. Brings back a memory or two of losing a bass or two on this sucker. But, you know, it was probably the best there was back then. Now we got eight to ones, nine to ones, ten to ones. We got eight foot rods. Still don't feel like I should have lost him, but that was pretty funny. <laughs> I can't catch up to him. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's funny to me, man. I cannot catch up with these things. This fish was funny. This fish was actually on the surface eating my line, where my line, like, enters to the water, was making a little bit of a disturbance, and the fish is up there pecking on my line. So I reeled this little quiver up as fast as I could to get up there to the surface where he was actually eating it, and uh, as soon as I reeled it by him and dropped it, he ate it. Saw it. Obviously, got to watch it because he was right on the surface, but I cannot catch up to him. One thing... Whenever I start to reel, I tighten my cast control knob down every time. I don't know what's the deal with that, but I do. Um, every time I've caught one, my cast control is so tight I can't hardly cast again. So, don't know what's up with that, but whenever I set the hook, I tighten my cast control knob. This is, you know, I'm a taller guy, got pretty big hands, but this is a smallish reel and i think this is the reel that kind of made me start to like fishing with the smaller reels i fish with kind of the 50 size reels the 70 size reels i never really liked the 150 size reels too much and this is kind of why but i'll tell you on this reel it's a lot more uncomfortable and the way my hand wraps around it i keep pinching it in here it's kind of difficult to uh it, and I, I even have you know larger hands it's hard to kind of press this and then get back to the spool at the same it's just everything feels a little bit more inconvenient I guess that's why they've made improvements over the past 30 years or however dang old this sucker is. So Definitely made some improvements in my opinion, but super impressed with how good it's performing, to be honest with you. I just, the gear ratio, hard to catch them.
better just go ahead and swing them in the boat because <laughs> ain't gonna be able to reel them too good. It's not that this reel don't have power, it's got plenty of power. Just don't have the speed for it. Little spots. Really taking me back to my 12 year old days. There's a whole bunch of little ones. about 10 of them under there I think I caught the biggest one though Mm, got a little screw come loose, but that screw probably hasn't been tightened up in I don't know how many years, probably maybe ever. So, to be expected, if it takes a, a real 30 years for the real for a screw to come loose, ain't too bad. 30 years, I really don't know how old this really is. I just know I've had it for probably close to 20 so I don't think it was new when I got it so it's probably old I know it's old it's probably like that old if any of y'all actually know when this reel came out that'd be awesome in the comments please let me know if you know when this reel came out also it'd be cool let me know what was y'all's first reel like real reel not a spin cast Zebco 33 I'm talking about like what was your first reel Cause this is mine. What was yours? Mm. Pinch me again. I just can't get used to it. And maybe I shouldn't get used to it. Really digging this. This is a four alt Gamakatsu O'Shaughnessy hook. Really digging this for this worm. It's a pretty good little hook. You hooking them little ones that good? You put that thing inside a big one's mouth. You gonna? Got to me one. Little spot. Little bitty spotted bass. Out of a treetop. That's why you don't usually want to flip a little bit tiny worm because this happens. You just catch a bunch of little ones. But still fun just to set the hook, especially it's tough out here. Just fun to set the dang hook, you know what I mean? Nah I mean. Alright, so to tell y'all the truth, I'm actually a little bit impressed with that reel. I was kinda anticipating it being a little bit worse a little bit harder to cast i haven't fished with that reel in so long i mean it's had to be 12 years since i fished with it maybe even longer than that so i haven't fished with that reel in a super super long time but i've probably been in possession of it for close to 20 years so pretty cool to get out here and fish with my first ever bait caster I actually caught a bass or two on it caught actually quite a few fish on it just no big ones i would really like to catch a big one on it so i might have to come back out here and do this again but you know compared to like the reels i'm using now obviously there's no comparison between that and like a metanium or even one of the lower end corrado you know 70s or whatever the reel is that i'm using there's no comparison at all but that reel was i'm guessing 25 30 years old i really have no idea how old that reel actually is i should have looked that up but for it to be that old and that kind of like primitive technology i shouldn't say primitive but like that was kind of in the infancy of bass fishing technology so for it to be that old and still perform that well i'm actually pretty impressed with it. i really like that reel i'll never be getting rid of that that's going to be kind of one of those keepsake kind of sentimental pieces in my bass fishing you know life that i've been kind of revolved around bass fishing for so long that's kind of one of them pieces that with like also my first boat i fished out of i still have that kind of stuff i'm never going to get rid of so i'll probably put that reel on the original first rod that i ever built which i still have and do not fish with and it'll probably sit in the corner till i decide to come back fishing with it so pretty excited that was a fun day you know i was very very impressed appreciate you guys watching i'm about to go jump in a little local lake pot tournament here in the evening so put the boat on the trailer head on down 
get in a different boat ramp, try to catch the bass too in the tournament. So appreciate y'all guys watching. We'll see y'all in the next one.